Hello and welcome back to some Akuma MC Prisons. This is going to be a crazy one because I'm finally going to be checking out the mortar for the first time in a long time. The reason I haven't been able to check this out in a while is because it has a ridiculous requirement, or at least I consider it kind of ridiculous requirement, of 150,000 blocks mined. Which is a lot of blocks. Now I've managed to do that finally. So we're going to go ahead and check it out. Uh, technically, I've added it for a while. I just haven't messed with this because I completely forgot about it. My bad. It's a lot of it's a lot of free rewards. Um, wait, didn't I check this earlier? So in this PV, I've got some things to mess with and I've got some things I want to talk about. Number one, you can see I had a bunch of openables in this and I have absolutely none. Now, the reason being is partly I've been salvaging some of them. Um, I'm going to go ahead. Actually, I'm not going to go and salvage these ones. I'm just going to save them. I don't really feel like opening them. And apparently I have two stellar crates, which if I'm not mistaken, came from my milestones. Uh, it would be playtime. You can get two weekly crates. All you have to do is play for a total of 14 days, which is very easy if you have robots and all you do is AFK like me. Very simple definitely worth it now these i'm actually going to save for later uh same with this as well i wanted to also show something off with drills large air well, i guess any airstrike be uh beacon legendary grenades and then of course i've just got my boosters and the thing i want to show you is kind of crazy um but before i do that i'm gonna apply these and we're gonna look at this mortar here Let's go and look at this mortar and see what it has to offer. So, there are a few things you can upgrade in here, such as Double Strike Upgrade. Now, you can see the two requirements that I cannot reach right now is 300,000 blocks mined. I need 100,000 more. And Pickaxe Level 150, which I've already crushed. Now, the other ones are this one, which is Lottery Procs. I didn't even know that was a thing. I have to get Lottery to proc 40 total times. I guess to be fair, I just need to play more. I think that's what it comes down to, if I'm being honest. Cluster Bomb, 500, reach. Click to upgrade, nice. Napalm, 500, click to upgrade, nice. Zeus 50, click to upgrade, nice. Vein Miner, max, nice. Black Hole, we're working on that, but we're not quite there. This one we've reached, which is Token Multiplier, Gem Multiplier Increase, uh, and we have to do uh, challenges for it. That's actually pretty cool. I like that a lot. I went ahead and upgraded my pet armor, and I think I upgraded... Was it my... Did I upgrade anything else? No, I think I just upgraded my pet armor, which is pretty awesome. Um, and then I did level these guys up a little bit with a method that I didn't know existed. Let's just see the beauty of this. Actually, I guess we can just see it like this. So you can see he's active, and you can see the experience is slowly going up. Now, this one's pretty good. You can see it's doing pretty, pretty, pretty decent. Not too bad. The main thing, of course, for these is that they give us a lot of ranks uh, and a good amount of tokens. And I want to utilize them as, uh, as best as I can before we get into officially mining. Uh, okay, I don't, uh, apparently the legendary grenade doesn't work, but it was working earlier, which is weird. I don't know, but you know what does work, as a matter of fact, are drills. And I think these actually work the best for this. So one drill does pretty good. I'd say actually probably about the, the equivalency of one of these. Maybe. Maybe actually maybe a little more because look it's still going. At this point I actually don't even need the legendary grenades. Five of these just absolutely demolish the mine and reset it. I don't know if it's wasting the efficiency of them a bit but to be honest I don't care that much. And our last five airstrikes and regardless of if the mine ends up being cleared or not I'll just reset it because I can do that. Well, let's go ahead and get into mining, and later on in this, I'll go ahead and open up a few of those things that I do have lying around. I did also clear out my keys before I forget. Um, I do have some now, and I, I didn't clear out the merit keys. I'll open those later on. It's going to be exciting. This probably won't be the last episode here on Akuma MC Prisons for this season. I'll probably have at least one more up. I'm not really sure. All I know is at this point, they haven't announced a reset, and we are pretty uh far into this season like we're like week seven i think right now going on week eight or some shit i'm not really sure also i did in fact forget to spend on some enchants number one i want to get profit absolutely now i also kind of want to get quiver which is very tempting i'm gonna go and get profit which has a god-awful activation chance but i believe in it and hopefully it'll 
not betray my trust. You know what? I don't have Whisper. It's a new enchant. Let's go ahead and get 30 levels into it and see just what it has to offer. So we're looking out for the Mortar. We're looking out for Profit. And we're looking out for uh, uh, b -b 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 a Whisperer. We need any of those to proc. I want to see them all proc by the end of these, uh, this video here. Hopefully we can. I wonder what it'll proc first. I didn't even look at the... Oh, that is awful. Oh, that is really awful. The activation chance for both of these, these enchants freaking sucks. I've decided instead I'm going to mix opening and mining. Because one, I normally would open the, the pet eggs anyways. But two, also, I don't, well, sorry, I'd also normally open these <laughs> Three, and the real reason is because I want the tokens and stuff that I can get from it to, to make this a little bit better. So, I didn't get anything too crazy. I got some decent ones, but nothing that's really gonna help me right now. If I had gotten another meteor shower, that would have been really good, but I didn't, and now it's really freaking sad. Let's go ahead and open up all of these gold mystery vaults. And let's go and open up all the diamond ones, too. Pet fragment. <gasps> Wait, what? So then I can upgrade this guy to masterful. I can technically upgrade this guy to rare. Or not masterful, sorry, mythical? Oh, and it did just give him a straight-up boost from that. So upgrading him would have also given him a, a straight-up boost. That's pretty freaking cool. All right, we got a few more things to open here, and then we can actually officially start our mining and hopefully get some of the stuff. Oh, I'm sorry, I can't open you here. I can't open these here, though. Let's open up these four Mystery Vault V kits and see what we get. Nothing that I get from this I'm going to open. I'm just actually going to go ahead and salvage whatever I don't want. That is my second Akuma rank today. That is not a joke, guys. That is my second one. The first one I got was from Slash Vote. Literally from the wheel spins. It, it's kind of crazy, guys. It's, it's literally insane. Let's go and open up these two V kit crates. Epic Robots and uh, some vouchers. Oh, Five vouchers. That's pretty good. And stellar crate number one. What do we get? Okay, nothing too crazy. And yeah, it's kind of an L. That's kind of an L. Let's go and open up our second and final stellar crate. Unless we get another one in this, which is very possible. A bunch of masterful pets. Okay. All right, let's open up these five masterful pet eggs and see what beautiful, beautiful pets we get. Uh, that I'm probably going to end up salvaging. Actually, I might end up saving them because they could sell for a lot. But anyways, we're done with our opening, so it is time to officially get to mining. I do have 4Q, though, which I'm going to go ahead and get 6 more levels of profit. That's pretty good. Hopefully, we can get more. Um, we also have some gems, so... Oh, no, I guess we don't have enough gems. Makes sense. We didn't really get any gems from that. Yeah, I just realized that my um, enchant found me another booster, so I had an extra, to or a, uh, extra pickaxe XP booster, so... That's pretty sick. And my token booster is also about to run out, so I, of course, have my token booster uh, ready to replace it. I'm debating on re-rolling some of these. I could definitely risk it with some of the ones that I have multiple of the same tier, but they're all kind of good. Okay. All right. Um, let's do this one instead. This one's failing, and I don't want to use them all in just that one. Ooh, we actually got it better last minute. That's huge. And now I can store these up for down the line when I can actually upgrade it to a tier 3 and make it even better. So far, I'm not getting lucky at all with mortar procs or any enchant procs, which is... <gasps> Wait, just as I was saying that, we get a mortar proc. That's absolutely massive. So we got a uh, very little token boost for 10 seconds, meteor shower, black hole, and napalm strike are all active. Now, the only thing is, I don't entirely know how it works. Because I know it does more powerful enchants as you level it up, but does that mean it does more powerful, like, types of enchants? Or does it make the enchants more powerful? And if it does the first option, then in that case, are the enchants based off of my levels on them? Because if that's the case, it shows some really powerful enchants to use. I love the mortar. It's such a shame that it's locked behind 150,000 blocks mine, because here's the unfortunate thing. For challenges... Uh, you have to mine blocks, but I'm gonna be honest with you, around this point, for the most part, I start using drills because it starts to get absolutely crazy. I would make no progress without drills in terms of challenges. While drills give me blocks mined for the challenges, it doesn't give me blocks mined for, well, up here, which means it doesn't give me it for the mortar, which is very unfortunate. So at least we got a mortar proc, because that was in fact the main concept I was going for this video, but I really do wish 
that some of these enchants would activate. I still kind of want to make it my goal to get that V kit from the, the uh, pollen shop, but to be honest with you, I don't know if that's going to be possible. Unless they intend for this season, I was going to say, unless they intend for the pollen, I guess I'll say, to last all throughout summer. Which could be a possibility, I really hope that's the case, because they kind of added this last minute for this season, and I would hate if they removed it at the start of next season. What are you guys most excited for next season? Is there any kind of feature you think that they should add, or any particular change that they should make in terms of balancing, or, or just anything on the server? What would you want for the next season, guys? Personally, I, man, I would just want more to do. Like... I want more daily things to do that's like a quick like 10 minute thing, you just knock it out once a day, it gets you some pretty good rewards, and then you go back to mining. I feel like that would be so much fun, because like while fishing's good, people are like, oh yeah, it's a good break, uh, good break from uh, mining. I agree, but also disagree, because like, well personally for me, I just don't like fishing. Two things I just thought of that I want to check, number one, coupons, what am I at? I'm actually at $20 already? Wait, that's insane. Oh, I have a tough choice to make here, guys. I really do. I could get the roughly the last bundle of the season, or I could get the first bundle of the next season. Which should be good. Honestly, I might just do that. By the way, guys, if you want to see me just chill and grind on prisons, I believe this Friday... Uh, actually, it'll be the, the day that this video goes up. I'm probably going to end up doing it later in the day now, because I'm throwing this in. Uh, around 7 p.m. EST, I will be streaming on some prisons, some Akuma Skyblock, and I don't know what I'm doing for the third thing yet. I'm not even sure if I will end up doing a third thing, but I will be doing three different Minecraft things, about an hour each. We just had another mortar go off. That is super awesome. Meteor shower, meteor shower, vein miner. How does that work? That's two meteor showers. I've actually leveled up my pets pretty good. This guy is on par with the rank boost, where this guy is much better in the token boost. And this guy is just kind of here. And he is actually about to run out, so then we'll swap over to our other pet and see what he can do for us. This guy was uh, virtually mines 0.15% of blocks, jackhammer, and bane miner uh, break, which is actually really good. It's kind of funny. A lot of these, except for, except for this guy, or sorry, except for this guy, every one of my uh, pets is set for basically enchant procs. Um, that is profit that just went off. Whoa, okay. Hey, man. That was pretty cool. I mean, we got to see our enchants activate. I didn't get to see one of them activate. I'm a little sad about that, but we got Zeus. But with that, I think I'm gonna go ahead and call this one here. We made some pretty good progress in the next one will be further ahead because I'll at least have that Friday stream of grinding as well as possibly one other time. Last call, join the server, all the information down in the description. If you enjoyed this one, leave a like on it, subscribe for more, and I'll see you guys in the next one.